amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croy salam, welcome to the channel y'all, chesh mash, good day y'all. Today I'm here with something unusual. I was looking for a model car, 143 scale, of my Citroen C4 Grand Picasso. And I stumbled across this and I was like, what, what is this? So I looked into it a little bit further <clears throat> and I found that my car had a prototype, a concept car, something that came out before the, um, you know, before the model did. And I was like, if very, very intrigued. And I was like, oh, I must get that model. And here it is. We have it in front of you, which is the Citroen C Air Lounge. C meaning C class. So it's the Citroen C Air Lounge. And this is the concept car that was shown. So let's get the model out. I've always liked another car brand I've always liked as well are French cars, uh, especially Citroen, because they're just so quirky. Citroens are just so out there, well they used to be, not so much now, um, in their design and this is just typical of Citroen. I've always loved Citroen since I first clapped eyes on a Citroen um, DS and then I learned more about it and I was like wow that is absolutely fantastic. So to get this model off I have to somehow find somehow to unscrew these because these are really weird screws why can't they just put normal cross head screws on it i do not know so let me get the screws off and then we'll take a look and talk a little bit about this amazing car i'm not joking that was an absolute nightmare to get that thing off underneath in the end i had to use like a little grinder thing to um heat the plastic of the base a little bit so i could take it off what a nightmare they really did not want you to take that out of the um box anyway i've only got one blister so let's go down to the car and there we have the concept air lounge um by citroen now this is very, very similar to the car that I've got now. There were differences. I'll do this first. Um, and then the next one I will do then will be on my Citroen C4 Grand Picasso, which really does look a lot like it. It's quite uncanny. And then at the end, I'll put both of them together. But on this video, we're just going to concentrate on this, which is the C Air Lounge. So back in 2003... This car was availed at a motor show as the concept car. This design would go on in many of the other Citroens that came after this, which is including my C4 Grand Picasso. It was very, very um, futuristic for its time when it was shown, and it was a very interesting, fascinating car. The C Air Lounge concept introduces a stylish approach to Grand Touring, with a striking look that incorporates an imposing V-shaped bonnet chrome strips that run along the waistline and swiveling headlamps. Thanks to its aerodynamic design and with particular attention paid to airflow with specially designed wheel rims and blade vortex generators at the rear, the C Air Lounge has a drag coefficient of just 0 0.26. Powered by a 3 litre V6 engine, the C Air Lounge also benefits from Citroen's ultra comfortable hydractive 3 suspension. Additionally, this technology advanced concept features a fixed hub steering wheel, incorporating controls for the electronic parking brake and hands-free phone, as well as a multimedia center in the center console with two notepad sized PCs under the rear side armrests. The modern styling reveals a cabin covered in white leather and silk, whilst a pillarless side window design and enormous glass sunroof flood the interior with light, for added ambiance, an intriguing lighting system uses fibre optics and video projectors to bathe the interior in a range of mood setting lighting from intense red to convivial candlelight. The highly practical power assisted steering arrangement can accommodate five or with the middle seat retracted under the floor to give more space for occupants while a large boot holds up to 650 litres of luggage. Thanks to its drive-by-wire design, 
Gone are the traditional pedals and gear lever to be replaced by a fixed central hub and steering wheel mounted controls. The technically advanced Sea Airdream features variable ratio electric steering and a vehicle dynamics controller. There's really not much else to find out about this car. I mean, basically, it was just a concept car that was created. Um, there are some videos online of it. It's very strange on the inside because it had these like video projectors of lighting and um, on the door and everything, fiber optics. And, you know, it's just a concept car. As, as you can imagine, it was um, not very practical to be put out onto the main road. The one thing I did like is because of its um, really aerodynamic design, um, at the back, at the top, just up here, you can't really see it. Well, I'll put it on top now. Hang on. The car was given these like little fins that came up instead of a big spoiler. These kind of uh, fins came up and that's what kept the um, car um, sort of like on the back, sort of like pegged down to the ground in, 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 instead of a, a spoiler. Because that would have really spoilt it, to be honest. But um, yeah, very interesting concept car, I have to say. And the central sort of like the steering wheel being being unmovable uh which is what is on my car is very kind of that's what i liked about it when i first saw the c4 um c4 grand picasso that's what i liked about it the most was the quirkiness of it the gear lever mounted on the steering column and there's nothing on the floor just a you know there's instead of the um there is a manual version of it of my car which kind of like takes up the big refrigerated box at the front um in the car um now my brother-in-law just bought a c4 grand picasso in a manual version um one spec down from my one i bought my one second hand it was two years old um came from northern ireland and it was used as a mobility car so it was in pretty good condition you know full um service history and everything but when i saw this as the concept version of it i was like wow you can really see that they use this concept in the future cars that really you know they took away the the lighting and all that malarkey and they just left the design of it very very similar and it's absolutely gorgeous i do love it and that's what i love about citroen is their quirkiness so there's not really much else i can say about this vehicle because it was only the concept and there's very limited information about it but i wanted to show you guys because i'd never heard of it before i'd never seen uh, this as a concept car and it absolutely fascinated me so very short video for you guys i hope you've enjoyed join me next week where we'll be talking about my c4 grand picasso that i have a model of and um yeah we can go from there and talk a bit more and then i'll compare these two vehicles side by side so until then bye y'all